Good morning, soft shakers and friends. Encouraging word, Saturday heart to heart with Pastor Albertan prepares us for Sunday. Tomorrow is the Lord's day, a day of rest, a day of recreation, a day of worship. Blessed morning and a wonderful and joyful day in the presence of the Lord. As we approach Sunday celebrations tomorrow, let us be brought before the cross again on which our Lord and Saviour died. We remember now his mental and spiritual agony at the Garden of Gethsemane as he contemplated what awaited him. And it was recorded in Matthew that Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, so could you not wait with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, for the second time, he went away and prayed. My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again, he came and he found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words again. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, sleep and take your rest later on. See, the hour is at hand and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of the sinners. Arise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Now, Luke shed further light on Jesus' agony in chapter 22, verses 41 to 44. Jesus withdrew about a stone's throw from them, knelt down and prayed. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. And an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in agony, ag anguish, he prayed more earnestly and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. And when we next look at Jesus on the cross, we see the calm of one who has, who has already won the battle over the will and the emotions of fear and sorrow. One who could say while well, hanging in physical pain on the cross, as Rob recorded in Luke chapter 23, verses 33. And when they came to the place that is called the skull, where they crucified him and the criminals, one on his right and one on his left, 34, Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And we're told in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, for the joy set before him, he, as Jesus, endured the cross, scorning his shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He saw all of us who will be saved because of his sacrifice on the cross and he counted it all joy. May we come in preparation tomorrow as we celebrate his death and his resurrection for us and worship him. There's no one great among us. We're nothing on our own. We make mistakes and sometimes slip. Just common flesh and bone. But I know he'll prove just what I say. We're of a special kind When he was on the cross I was on his mind He knew me Yet he Oh, remain.
that's why I sing so On his head The blood that stained His scarlet robe Well, it stained it crimson red Though his eyes were on the crowd that day He looked ahead in time Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. <laughs>